Uh, this next gentleman, um, you know, when when it was uh, when it was kicked, the idea was kicked around that he might run for governor uh, on our show. Um, I, I'm actually I just told him a few minutes ago. I, I'm a big fan, and there's so many of his films that have had these the three word name. You know, uh, hard to kill. You know, out for justice. So I said, if you're going to run for governor, you got to have a three word campaign slogan: in to win, <laughs> ballots of blood. Ladies and gentlemen, Steven Seagal. Well, believe it or not, I had no idea that I was going to be speaking tonight, so uh, I, I really am not going to fit into the characteristic uh, funny, everybody's funny tonight. Uh, what I have to say is quite serious. Uh, and what I really want to say is never in my life did I ever believe that our country would be taken over by people like the people who are running it at this day. And uh, I think that um, when we have a leadership that thinks that the Constitution of the United States of America is a joke, when we have a president who has almost a thousand executive orders now, when we have a Department of Justice that thinks that any kind of a uh, judicial system that they make up as they're going along can get by with whatever they decide that they want to do. Like Ted Nugent said, you know, the Fast and the Furious. What's happened with the Fast and the Furious? What's happened with the truth about any of some of the greatest scandals in American history that have happened right before our eyes? If the truth about Benghazi were to come out now, I don't think that this man would make it through his term. I think he would be impeached. Yeah, America's a great country. It really is a great country because it's a country where we have designed a system based on the Constitution where we have freedom of speech, we're allowed to disagree and say what we want to say and uh, should not be persecuted for it. But on the same token, those who have something to say that is too controversial really have to be very, very careful. And I think right now we're at that sort of tipping point where whether you are a Democrat or a Republican, we have to realize that we have to put the parties aside and all to come together as Americans and realize we have to take this country back. Thank you.